is it's you, your average trash, who's probably gonna end up in jail for liking too many lollies and watching too much yaoi. So today I have Yoshiko <laughs> joining me. <laughs> yeah, okay, so today is actually a day before AFA or C3AFA 2019. So it's been, I think, four years since I've started going for this convention. Obviously, there are other conventions in Singapore that I've gone to, but AFA is obviously the biggest one because... <laughs> Duh! <laughs> if you guys haven't gone to AFA before, please go this year! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so... AFA is actually a really big convention that most weeps in Singapore like to go to because they have mostly very limited edition things that usually are imported from Japan. Or they actually have special guests that are actually from Japan. Like, you know, your any song artists or your seiyus and so on and so forth. And being this year, if I'm not wrong, the 12th year of AFA. Wow, this year has been that long. <laughs> and considering I've, I've only been here like 4 or 5 times, I'm actually still quite new to say. But I'm not the brand new fresh kind that literally just went there without knowing anything. So I do know some gist of AFA obviously. Being a trash for over 6 to 7 years or maybe 8, I don't know. But I've been a trash for very long. So obviously I would have gone to conventions. And sad to say the only conventions I've gone to are in Singapore because I don't have money to go out of Singapore for other conventions because I'm technically still a student. I have no money. <laughs> right, so what are some things you can take note when you're going to AFA? That will be the first part of this video and the second part will be what is inside my convention bag? <laughs> God, I'm bored. Okay. Alright, so there are these things to note when you go to a convention. Basically in Singapore anyways. So, uh, this will be only focused on AFA specifically because AFA is tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. What are some basic things you have to know about AFA and if you are a first time comer for AFA? Now, if you uh, start on the day's basis, alright, in terms of uh, crowd. So, most of the time, from the years that I've been to, which is like, Three, four. I didn't manage to go last year because I actually had a job uh, work to do. So I didn't go last year but the year before that and the two years before that I have also gone for AFA. But even though I didn't go for AFA last year, I did get my uh, trash sister to help buy stuff for me. So I do still have shit and stuff that I bought from last year's AFA. But that's not the main point. Alright, so the between the three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Friday will most likely be the moderate crowd. And then Saturday will be the most crowded. It's crazy crowded. And Sunday will be the kind of lower average crowded. So if you're going to any of the three days, I recommend going on Friday and Saturday. Friday if you have very limited edition stuff that you would like to get because Friday is the first day. So if you want limited edition stuff, go and go to AFA early. Hit that early. Like early. The convention starts at 10 a.m. ends around 7.30 if I'm not wrong. Or is it 8? I actually can't remember because I usually go there until like super late. So I don't really watch the time. Basically I get out when they ask us to get out. Like seriously. So yeah. So uh, the crowds wise right. If you go between. This applies for all 3 days. Huh? If you go between from 1pm to 4pm. Or 2pm to 4pm. These are the most crowded timings. Because those timings are the period where people have eaten their lunch. Finished their work and stuff and yada yada. Being Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it, uh, try not to go between the period of 1 to 4. If you're already in a convention hall earlier than 1, then you can stay in there obviously. But uh, be prepared for an extremely, extremely huge crowd between 1 to 4. Because this is the timing where everybody comes. Because they either finish work like I said before, they finish lunch as I said before, or they just woke up because we play too much games, watch too much anime until the next morning. So yeah, but if you're hardcore trash, you'll go to early in the morning. So yeah, okay, so, uh, for queues, right, um, this year I'll actually be going two days, Friday and Saturday. I won't be going on Sunday because uh, I don't think I have enough money anymore <laughs> to go on Sunday. So, um, Friday I'm not really too sure about the queues because 99% of the time I always go on the Saturday. Like, it's technically the packers, I don't even know if that's a word, but that's the most packed day. Like, there's always the most amount of people on Saturday. I don't know why, but it's a thing. So everyone goes there on a Saturday. And 
from what I know, uh, because I have bought the exhibition only ticket before, the exhibition and stage only ticket before, and the GA ticket before. Uh, this year I've only bought the exhibition ticket because I'm broke AF and they increased the price cry in the corner. But it's okay, I love you AFA, I must still go to you even though you increase the price. But that's also a good sign because there's more people coming. A good and a bad sign actually. <laughs> good for our community but bad for us because the prices are going up and it's getting more packed. So I do hope they actually expand the convention area. Like it's huge right now, like the, it's freaking huge right now. I'll put the floor plan somewhere on the screen. So it's huge right now but uh, I hope that when the numbers increase even more, they actually increase the size of the, the area. Which would also mean technically that the increase of the ticket price will go up as well. But to me that's okay because if the place is still the same size and there's still more people coming, it's gonna be real squeezy and between the aisles there's not gonna be any space, especially Creator Sum. Like, God, Creator Sum is the worst. So I hope this, this year they have at least some space between the aisles because there are some people that don't know how to follow instructions that piss me literally off. You know, you gotta get used to it when you go to conventions, right? They still piss me off. Like, I'm used to it, but I, they still piss me off. Like, you guys can't listen to instructions. Like, especially those people. I'm sorry if I'm ranting, but especially those people, right? That you know how in ours, when the conventions is very thin, right? So everyone, they see there's two lanes, right? You either walk front or you walk back, right? But some stupid people, the lane walking front, they walk back. So we have to collide. Then I'm like... Guys, there's that road next to you or that lane next to you that is going the opposite direction. Follow that lane. Like, guys, come on, it's not that hard. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited for AFA as you can clearly tell. Alright, so, um, going back to AFA. Um, crowds wise, I've told you already. So, actually, if you can, I actually would recommend Saturday. Like, it's thank you, the, the most packed one. But it's the best day to see cosplayers. Like technically, Friday and Sunday as well, you can get to see good cosplayers as well obviously because it's AFA. But I feel like Saturday is the best day to see cosplays because number one, it has the most amount of cosplayers because there are more people coming on Saturday. And number two, they usually have, uh, this is a price to all days but from what I know and what I've seen, Saturday usually has the most, like those kind of uh, group cosplayers, like New X for example, because uh, this year Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer is the most popular from what I know <laughs> right now, right? It's taking the most popular thing right now. So I've heard from people that they are gonna have like a cos group, like just for the different characters from Kimetsu no Yaiba slash Demon Slayer. So I do hope to see some of that because I am obsessed, obsessed with Kimetsu no Yaiba. <laughs> Which literally, I think I've told my trash sister this, but I think 99% of my freaking Merch is just gonna be Kimetsu no Yaiba. <laughs> I am obsessed with it, it's my favorite anime of this year, so I think it obviously won a lot of Kimetsu no Yaiba stuff. I love every single character. There's no one to hate. But my best few characters are obviously the main four. That I know it, I know it, I know. Like, I know, guys, I know. I know I'm being freaking mainstream, but like, I can't help but love the four main characters, especially Nesuko and Tanjiro, the two mains, the siblings of the Kimetsu no Yaiba series. It's awesome, I love them, so I want to merge of everybody. <laughs> so uh, actually, as you can see behind me, um, the wall is actually quite empty other than my Nestle Berries and like a Totoro and a, like an Aqua. Yeah, like the first year little post thingy. Like, this wall is pretty empty and like the other side of my room which you can't see. Uh, it's also quite empty because I actually changed quite a lot of my posters because they were turning old and like weird. So I only have a few posters up right now. And it's empty, my wall's empty. So I'm going to buy like a crap load of prints and a crap load of stickers during AFA. I keep straying off topic. I want to talk about convention but then like flying away to like who knows when. <laughs> this video's gonna be real long as well. Alright, so uh, crowds wise, as I said, uh, repeated uh, quite a lot of time already. Saturday is the most packed one, Friday is the moderately packed and Sunday is the average packed. So actually if you go on Sunday, sometimes uh, some of the artists in Creators Hub and some of the official stores, but not AFA shop, they always stick the same price. But like most of the other stores, they drop prices, like give you discounts because it's the last day to clear their stocks. So most of them do that, like on the last day they cut off their stocks. So if you have enough money or you're actually going on Sunday, not only Sunday but Saturday or Friday as well, or all three if you're rich. <laughs> Sunday is actually the best day to get discounted stuff. Because sometimes, if you wait all the way until the end of the convention, sometimes the creator sub artists will give you free stuff. Because they want to clear their stocks. But not every single artist does that, just some of them do. 
but they're all really nice people they're fun to chat with especially with similar interests with whatever the artist draws and also if they have commissions so you can actually ask them for commissions as well if you're interested in the art style but obviously do look out for all the creators in creators hub as well even if you like or do not like any of their merch that they are selling do still give them support because they do have a lot of hard they did a lot of hard work to create merch like this for everybody so yeah <laughs> Alright, okay, moving on. Other things to take note of AFA. So it's actually a bit late for me to say now, but um, AFA, they have three days, right? But on the day before AFA, which is like Thursday, Thursday they actually open up pre-sales for the convention where you can go and buy the tickets, being uh, exhibition or exhibition and uh, stage tickets. You can actually head down to Suntec to buy the tickets. So that you don't have to queue on Friday, Saturday and Sunday before the convention to buy the tickets. Because if you buy the tickets on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the queue is insanely long, like insane. I know there's some people that literally take a few hours to just buy the freaking ticket because they queue from one end to the other, like long ass queue, like super long. So yeah. Uh, I thought I suggest actually buying the tickets a day before the convention, but if... Uh, Let's say you're going on Saturday, you can actually buy on Friday, but the queue may be quite long, so I actually suggest buying on Thursday for any of the days that you may be going for AFA, because that's easier, and the queues aren't actually that long. Like, they can be long depending on the timing that you go, but uh, actually if you go in the early parts of the... Uh, what was that? Queue timing? Yeah, it's not that bad. And uh, if I'm not wrong, on the actual day, the ticket the sales are there, but... Um, they don't start very early, so you can queue first. Then when they start, then you get up and like buy the tickets. But they, are, they don't start on the dot like that, so yeah. I might be wrong, but if I'm not wrong, something like that, right? So uh, that's it for ticket stuff, then. Actually, the prices range very widely for this year's AFA. They increase almost, from what I know, almost every single ticket price. So like I said before, I'm happy, but at the same time sad. Tickets are going higher and higher, but it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's part of living in Singapore, man. It, AFA is thinking a really good opportunity for you to spend your money like no business. When it comes to anime merch anyways, because AFA is one of the bigger conventions in Singapore, because everything else is usually damn small. So there are obviously still artists around the area and stuff like that, and there's still, there's more and more anime conventions in Singapore that are actually popping up, which is a good thing, because that means there's more of an audience for people to like buy merch and as well as cosplayer merch because there's so many good cosplayers you guys keep up for cosplayers too <laughs> so yeah actually I do have a few cos friends as well so I do know how much time it takes to like cos up and stuff like that and how much things they have to bring to fix their cos or like mend their cos and stuff like that so that's a lot of work so give like cosplayers like a climb like a clap yeah they really need a freaking pat on the shoulder and a clap they deserve so much as well just like the creators in in anything actually, creators in anything. So moving on, I'll start to take note in the convention. This year as well, uh, AFA has actually announced on their Instagram and their Facebook, I don't know if there's any other platform but if I'm not wrong these two, and their official website obviously, uh, to bring your own recycle bags. Because thank you, starting this year, a lot of Singapore's shopping malls and so on and so forth are actually saying this thing no plastic which is a good cause obviously because global warming so it's a good thing so I technically I always bring a huge bag to AFA because I'm not gonna buy a crap lot of things so yeah <laughs> I actually bring quite a big bag I either bring one or two bags but the the only thing that if you bring one or two bags right is during AFA they have bag checks obviously for safety reasons so if your bag is empty you just show them and then you just walk in but if your bag has a lot of things they are, the bag is gonna be really annoying this is the cow and then open the bag very widely, they shine touch light and blah blah blah. It's, take, it's a pretty long process if you have a lot of shit in your bag, but if you have nothing, like literally nothing, you just you, yourself, power bank and wallet, then it should be okay, because <laughs> there's nothing in your bag. So that's usually what I do anyways. But uh, moving on. Um, when you're inside the convention, other than having like a recycled bag or a gigantic bag to put all your shit, most of the time, um, they don't allow you to bring food and drinks into the convention because thinking in AFA they do have a food section that sells food and drinks as well and this year has like crazy amount of sponsors for food and drinks so you guys can actually get them inside the convention it might cost quite a bit but it's cheaper than if you buy it at the actual store or around Suntec because Suntec is actually pretty expensive unless you go to McDonald's because McDonald's everybody's best friend is cheap AF so yeah 
<laughs> Alright, then um, other stuff to take note in, uh, in the convention, obviously is to follow rules that they have given, guidelines that they have given. That's our ultimate duh. But of course, there will always be people breaking them, so... <laughs> But just uh, keep in mind that if you can, try not to fight with anyone or like give them like a- don't provoke anybody because if they get angry it's gonna be really annoying, the huge drama and stuff like that and everybody's gonna get a pretty bad reputation. Of course, try to keep everyone safe. Like, even if you're not a staff member of AFA, just keep in mind everybody's safety as well as yours so that no one gets hurt because we don't want our convention getting cancelled. <laughs> Safety guys. <laughs> Alright, then some other stuff to note. When you're walking around the convention, Singapore's still okay, but just in case, do carry your wallet and your basically all your valuables nearer and closer to your front of your body where you can see them. It's thank you safe in Singapore to carry your phone and stuff like that out. But AFA is really packed, so just in case, just carry it where you can see it and you know not like in your bag when your bag's open and stuff like that, you know. Like, keep it close to you, you can see where it is and you can feel that it's right there with you so that you don't get your things stolen. <laughs> of course. And then some other stuff to take note in the convention. Try not to like shout across the convention hall because that's annoying. Like, it pisses me off as well. Like, I, I can get you want to talk to your friend very far away and stuff like that. But guys, it's 2019. We have a phone. Actually, earlier than 2019, we have phones, so don't shout out across the freaking convention hall. It pisses me off. Like, seriously, we're all trying to find our friends, right? Obviously. But, like, don't shout across the convention hall. You're gonna scare so many innocent people. They have no idea what you're talking about, you know? Like, seriously, just don't scream across the freaking convention hall. Alright, so some other things to think note about AFA as well. Um, much, much wise, obviously, don't crowd, especially creators up. Don't crowd around any of the booths too long if you're not going to buy anything. If you're waiting for someone, wait them, wait for them outside. Yeah, it's true that you have to re-queue for the back chair and stuff like that, but it's pretty fast. Because the security guards actually, after a while, they'll be just like, oh, open your back church, and then they don't really care anymore. But, still, if you're going to wait for your friends, wait for them either outside the convention or near the walls of the convention. Just don't sit down, because that's not permitted to sit in the convention hall. So don't sit on the floor. Don't. No matter how tired you are, sit outside. Downstairs on the chair. Don't sit on the floor because it tarnishes the reputation of AFA as well. Because you just see a bunch of weirdos sitting on the floor and sitting outside and blocking the entire way. So don't do that, please. If you want to sit down, go to a restaurant or go to the bathroom or some shit to sit down. Don't sit on the floor anyway. Like, don't. <laughs> Alright, so some other things to take note as well. Um, actually to add on right, for the overcrowding of booth, don't do that, like literally don't do that. Cause there may be other people who are interested in the booth or people who are willing to actually want to already pay money and buy the merch. But you're blocking the way, for no reason. Like if you're going to like scroll through and like look through all their merch, go ahead. But if you're thinking whether or not to buy it or not, don't stand there and block the way. You can decide at the side of the store. Like let other uh, convention goers review or see that product as well or like merch as well so that if they're interested they can already buy and then leave they don't need to wait for you to get out of the way and then they have to move forward make space for more people and so on and so forth so please if you're gonna think and discuss with your friend whatever anime or whatever merch whatever this whatever that move don't stand and block the freaking table like bruh like this freaking means so much for creators huh? because it's already very small but there are still some dumb ass people, like dumb ass people, that block the creator's hub table and I'm like... MOVE! <laughs> like I'm used to it but it still pisses me off, like he's saying that but like... It still pisses me off, like come on man, like come on. Like creator's hub is already very small and the artists really don't like how squeezy it is really. But you're still here blocking the way, like preventing them from selling their freaking products, like MOVE bitch. Like, move. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Oh my god. Okay, so it like, other than like moving and like not- If I'm not gonna buy anything, just move like seriously. Like, that's like my most irritating pet beef, like move. If I'm not gonna buy anything, move. Legit, move. Okay, uh, so, <laughs> just, I just talked talk about that, but it seriously pieces me off, so yeah. Move. <laughs> so other than that, uh, inside the store, try not to like- Let's say you take a uh, merch or something off the rack or something. Then you're like thinking, hey, should I buy or should I not buy? 
you decide not to, don't just chuck it at some random area. Find back that area and put it back where it belongs. Because it makes it harder for all the stuff in the shop or anywhere else in the convention to replace that thing and put it back. So don't do that. That's irritating for the staff as well for other people that are searching for that particular merch. As per se, like if you take it, then they say it's the last one, but then you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't buy it. Then you put it somewhere else. And then who, where, what about someone who wants to buy that much, but then they see that it's not there, so they thought finish with it. But actually haven't, you just put it somewhere other under freaking random place. Like, just make it easier for yourself, everybody. Just put it back where it belongs. Very simple. I try not to freaking move shit and destroy works that do not belong to you. Like they not they do not belong to you but they belong to others. So don't destroy and remove shit that does not belong to you. Like if you want to at least like take a look at it and put it back after you see me and stuff like that. Like come on. <laughs> Isn't that general knowledge? Or is it just me? I have no idea but yeah. So what other stuff to take note? Try not to like flash up all your cash at once. Let's say you open your purse or your wallet or whatever, right? You open it up and then you're like, oh, I actually want to buy this, uh. but then it costs like a lot. Uh. Then maybe or very little stuff, uh, whatever costs you, right? You need to cut your wallet. Then you're like, you want to show your whole world how much money you have. Is it? Like, guys, we know all of us going there with a lot of money to buy merch, uh, but like, come on, I uh, don't need to flash your money. Uh. You want people to see how rich you are, is it? For what? For what? <laughs> like, and if you do that, people will freaking steal from you. You'll never know who are in the convention, you know, like seriously. Sometimes there's a lot of freaking weird people that like to do random shit inside the freaking convention, so try not to freaking take out all your money, like come on man. At least like hide some of your money here and there. Don't put it all in one place as well, because if your wallet gets stolen or you lose your wallet, you have no money to spend all your merch. That's a tip actually. Keep our uh, money stashed in different areas of either your bag, your pockets, or whatever other place you put it in, I don't give a shit. But like, Keep different areas of your bag um, uh, empty so that you can put money in there where it isn't really very accessible so it's like emergency money let's say your wallet money run out already right you still have other money in your like pockets or your bag so that you still can spend on more merch I'm really suggesting for you to buy more stuff but like guys it's the time for you to buy merch guys <laughs> yeah but um, that like try not to keep all the money into one place because if your wallet get lost or is stolen you're doomed on so many levels <laughs> so yeah some other things you have to take note, of course, try not to wear slippers because you're going to be walking very fast and like, because it's not really safe to run in the convention because it's very packed, so don't run. You can speed walk, don't run. <laughs> Unless it's like very empty, but that's never happening. So, <laughs> but try not to run. Run, like, don't run, but like jog in the promoted speed. <laughs> like, it's not that, it's technically not a rule, but try not to run because you'll, like, you'll bang to people or hit into artist booths, so try not to do that. So uh, moving on from that, uh, wearing, for wearing shoes, right, it's safer to wear shoes so, so that when you're in a crowded area, right, when people step on your feet, it doesn't hurt as much. Like, if you wear slippers, your like, toes are like out there for the whole world to step on. But if you're wearing shoes, they step on your shoe, it's your toe then again, but it doesn't hurt as much as when you're wearing slippers. And if you are like a uh, trash like me, who spend very long time in AFA, then I suggest you wear shoes as well. Because they are more comfortable and the convention can be quite cold even though there's a lot of people. So wear shoes with socks obviously to keep yourself warm as well. Those are some stuff to take note if you go for AFA as well. I think that's about it. There's actually still plenty of other stuff that you can you have to take note for going to AFA. But this video is going to be like 10 hours long or some shit if I go too long. So I'm going to move on to what's in my convention bag. It's actually pretty empty right now because there's really nothing much that I bring and uh, some of the stuff that I usually bring are not in the bag right now. So I actually, I'm gonna bring two bags this year to EFA. Like, like it's annoying because there's bag check but like... <laughs> it's easier for me to keep my stuff, I feel like two bags is essential. So I'll start with the normal bag first. So um, this bag is my first bag. It's actually my sister's bag but I like carrying it around because it's easy to use, like your simple I crack and I have a lot of keychains. I have a tiger. <laughs> a tiger and like a monster X keychain. And yes, I like K pop, don't judge. Shut up. <laughs> and then an owl keychain, so cute. And then a panda keychain. <laughs> so I'll start with this. This front compartment to tell you what I bring to my convention. So, tissues. Essential, guys. To wipe your whipped tears or your sweat. But actually, don't sweat. I just bring it because. 99% of the time I have food, so 
This is what this is for. <laughs> then some other stuff that are in here. A pen for god knows what reason. I just carry a pen around just in case I need to write anything. So a pen. And then in my other compartment, there's actually nothing much in the front compartment, it's just my tissues. <laughs> the other compartment is also pretty empty of things, right? First thing is my life sauce. <laughs> oh it's my phone's life sauce. Power bank. <laughs> Need you in my life. This shit is old, so it's like 30 AF, but the first power bank. The other power bank is in my other bag because I keep two separate power banks in my bag because the... I use my phone a lot during conventions to find my friends. First power bank. <laughs> and then what else do I have in this bag in this other compartment is a jacket because the convention gets cold. Okay, jacket. And then last thing in this bag is my umbrella. Isn't it cute? It's like a dollar. <laughs> but yeah, just in case it rains. I need an umbrella. So some other stuff that will be in here as well are like my water bottle and like uh my actually this one my like my like, water bottle to be in here. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else that I bring in here. Like you know. <laughs> so it's actually pretty empty. So it's like it's just like this. There's nothing much in here. But it's just a bag that I carry behind just for like main necessities that are not very needed to open that much. Hence the backpack. So that's the first bag and one more convention bag. So, let me just grab it. My second convention bag is a freaking Ita bag. <laughs> because uh, I need an Ita bag in my life, right guys? Yeah, if you are weak then yeah. This is pretty old also. So um, on this side, it's actually nothing much. I'm gonna fill it with new badges that I'm gonna buy AFA on this side. That's right. Push it. A Takato. <laughs> that's right guys! Takato! <laughs> so that's like on this side. And then on this side, I have a crap load of different enemies, like on this. Like maybe I'll move a bit closer to get a look. Uh, I'll just tell you guys a few. So um, this is Marginal 4. Enemy Marginal 4. This is Oregairu, best girl. And then Karma Kun for assassination classroom. Then uh, but, oh shit, where is the Nubana? Uh, Natsume. Natsume Yujincho. And then Ash from Banana Fish. Yoshiko <laughs> Yoshiko <laughs> Oh shit, Yoshiko uh, Filo chan Cause best girl Filo Not Raftalia <laughs> And then I uh, have the Junta from the previous video And then another Yoshiko Like I have so many Yoshiko so another Yoshiko And then uh, Violet Evergarden I actually brought this from Dojima and created some Cute set And uh, the last keychain is also from the previous video The Sake no Kuji video Eddie Dilta. Okay, that's all. Oh my god, my hand fiery. <laughs> so, uh, that is pretty much this bag. It's quite big, it's like bigger than my damn face. Uh, it's still quite empty, as so I'm adding stuff uh, for the most that I bought in here. Okay. So, what do I have in this bag? It's actually empty because this bag is used to put all the most that I'm gonna buy. This why it's empty. So, actually, both bags are quite empty because I like to carry light and I don't carry too much. So, the first thing is my Isling card. A necessity in Singapore. <laughs> so I have these Rico keychain. Uh, I forget where I bought it from. Really. Oh shit! I know. I know. I bought it from a convention, but I don't remember which one. But there's a like a dog Rico. I use shiitake. Like if you guys know, <laughs> like shiitake. And then my house key and like my Zing card with like a JB on it from God Seven. Yes, I see. We found that K-pop. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a Freaking trash as can tell from this damn bag. <laughs> so, uh, what else do I have in here? I have candy because uh, I'm always too lazy to go out. So, not sponsored, I just love this candy and this thing is kind of reflected because it's like, yeah. Candy in case you get hungry or you're thirsty or something. <laughs> then I have my other power bank in here. <laughs> and then my wallet. So, actually, my sister actually bought this for me uh, from Kyokai no Kanata. Mirai from Curly Her Name. Cute. Oh, well, it's, it's freaking empty now, so there's nothing much in here. Uh, there's just more K-pop stuff, like from Jim Catcher, so uh, from the, I went for that concert, so yeah, I got this. And then more Jim Catcher stuff, because uh, they are my favorite band, cards and shit. And then my cashless wallet. Uh, the pink and the pink stuff are like the AFA tickets. Uh, actually, I'll show you guys. Right? So. 
AFA ticket! <laughs> Actually, you guys are going with my sister and my mom on Friday. <laughs> and I have another two over here for Saturday. I go with my brother. Yeah, my whole family are treasures. Don't judge. <laughs> so, there's nothing much in my wallet, it's just that. So, that's pretty much everything. Yeah, that's pretty much everything in this bag. There's really, honestly nothing in my convention bag. It's like, the, it's empty, but uh, when I come back out of the convention store, it's like full air. Yeah. So like some other stuff I put in the bag are like my earpiece, because I need music in my life. And like my USB charger to charge my phone, duh. <laughs> so actually, uh, I'm not too sure if I want to bring like that Yoshiko you saw in the front part of this video. I'm not too sure if I want to bring it. I feel like bringing it for fun, just to take stupid photos with the Yoshiko. I'm not gonna bring my gigantic Nesuberry because it's huge actually. It's actually freaking huge. Like actually it's not a Nesuberry size, but it's pretty big. And yeah, I have a lot of Nesuberries. <laughs> some of my some of them are my sisters, but yeah. And I have like you guys can see like two extremely dirty and old Love Life characters like Hanayo and Hunuka. Because they are they are me and my sister's best girls <laughs> in Muse. So yeah, uh, they has been there for quite a while, but uh, I still love them, so it's okay. <laughs> So yeah, those are uh, these are uh, the bags that I use for conventions. There are there might still be some stuff that I have not placed in there, but it depends. Cause most of the time, my bag when I go in there is empty AF, but when I come out it's full with merch. <laughs> so uh, I tend to use the Ita bag uh, hopefully for a prints that, that I buy and then stickers. I gotta buy a bunch of stickers to fill up uh, my computer because I'm changing my case because it cracked. So I want new stickers to cover my beautiful laptop with and to show the whole world how much of a treasure I am. <laughs> so actually that's all for this part of suction thing. It's actually quite empty. There's nothing really much to show. <laughs> so uh, I'll be, like the ticket said, I'll be in AFA on Friday and on Saturday. So on Friday, uh, I'll be going in the afternoon because I want to spend most of my time on Saturday. So on Friday, I'll be going in the afternoon together with my mom and then meeting up with my sister afterwards. Then on Saturday, I'll be going from early in the morning. <laughs> uh, actually, I'll be there. I'm thinking of leaving. Uh, I'll be there around 7am. Yeah, I know. The convention starts at 10, but like, the queues are long. So, <laughs> like, uh, like before, uh, other times I've been to the convention, I'm going to be there by 7am, hopefully, or 7.30. Because the queue starts at 9am, so... Actually, the, the queue like, reaches because the convention is upstairs, right? So the queue actually reaches downstairs by 9 am. Actually, sometimes 8 30 already is downstairs, so hopefully I get to be there on time and not end up downstairs. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm gonna be upstairs. So I'm gonna go or reach there early. So I'll be there on Friday and Saturday. Uh, I'll be walking around the convention and uh, like a deal, what else we'll be doing. Uh, my fringe is a mess, sorry guys, keep touching my hair, but like it pisses me off. <laughs> I should cut it, freak. <laughs> okay, um. Ignore, ignore my fucking hair, but like... Uh, so I'll be there during the, uh, the convention, so if you come see and say hi... I'll be buying more Sakano Kuji, as I said in the previous video, so... Yay! <laughs> uh, actually, thank you not... I might buy, I might not buy, but my sister and my brother are buying like a huge amount of tickets. So I'll help them open them, because they won't be there. <laughs> uh, depends on the stocks on Friday and Saturday, so I might or might not buy more or lesser. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, okay, that's all for the video convention video. If everyone's gonna go in the AFA, see you guys there. <laughs> Bye. This has been Irish Tress who has been watching too much Yaoi and liking too many lawyers. They'll probably end up with me going to jail. Alright, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>